Okay, family, so I'm at McDonald's, and you know, like, I'm very peaceful. I'm loving. Slow the anger. Walking in the fruits of the spirit, but when I tell you the enemy, be trying this little, this, this, this car behind me. So I'm at McDonald's, I ordered me a coffee. And as I ordered my coffee, she had ordered after me, and... Hey, how you doing? Thank, I'm good. Thank you. Hold on one second. Let me put this down. Appreciate you. Have a good one. So, um, anyway, like I was saying, so I ordered my stuff. She, mm -hmm, she had pulled up um, after me, right? She placed her order after me, right? So as I was um, inching forward to proceed to pay, she speeds up to jump in front of me. And so I rolled up my window and I said, a lady. And I pointed my finger and she felt like she didn't want to look at me at first because she knew she was wrong. So I just kept pointing. I said, lady, I'm in front of you. And she felt like she didn't want to hear me. And I said it louder and louder and louder so she could hear me. I could make sure she... And so she just looked at me and kind of rolled her eyes. I didn't say thank you or anything like that because I didn't it wasn't it wasn't any need to and her looks like she's um maybe from a Asia Orient I don't know I don't know but I say all that to say this you gotta teach people how to treat you like we're not here to be just mishandled and jumped in front of and stuff like that because I'm telling you that's a huge thing with uh, African American women I get it every day all day so I know I live it. It's the life I live. And I'm not ashamed about it. I'm not complaining about it. I'm here to testify about how good God is. You see, because these broken systems and, you know, and I'm not, you know, demons are people, you know. And I also understand um, some of the nature of it, you know, when King David, um, when they went to the four corners of the earth, um, Paul was not, they couldn't go to Asia Minor. So that country has been like isolated and um, North Korea, you know, everybody knows about North Korea and China and stuff like that. So they have been taught a false narrative of us, most of which is um, pretty much the kind of haters. Actually, you know, America is the big bad wolf to them. So it's very wicked. It's a very wicked thing. But here's my issue is like, um, if I'm in another country, I'm going to respect the people there. And that tends not to be the case with us over here. It seems as if people can just come over here and just tread all over us. Um, and I'm not okay with that. So, um, and it happens more times than not, unfortunately. But people don't, um, you know, like women of color, we're not bold enough to speak up about it because we've been taught to just be quiet I guess I don't really know it's kind of, it's weird to me but you know I'm the mouth of the south I'm not gonna be quiet because if it's not right it's not right and God didn't give me the spirit of fear but sound mind and um you know you have to you don't stand for something you'll fall for anything and i'm not going for it so it's got to be out of glory the shalom of the lord nothing missing nothing broken whoever the sun, the sun sets free is free indeed and um when the enemy tried to sift me like wheat try to put fear and all them other bad them all them all that stuff from the enemy to kill still destroy anything that has to do with killing still in the shortage from the enemy um but nah, Jesus overcame all of that for me once he saved me. So I love you. God bless. Bye-bye.